<laughs> Welcome to the next episode of The Forgotten City, Everest. Who wants to give oh, it the recap? No, it goes. Uh, me, right? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I don't know when did it kind of get off. Uh, so last time we, yeah, we started traveling, yeah. And on the way, we met a robot metal thingy with a tree growing out of it. So it's pretty cool. Pretty chill. Turned out it was a, a looter collector by the dwarves. Not sure if it just kept going or if it's recently been powered on again, but I guess we'll find out eventually. Then moved on on our way, and then we found a carriage with 12,000 ingots. I mean, 12,000 gold worth of ingots. <laughs> and then we decided we're rich, we're going back to the city. <laughs> and on the way back, we found scribes. What's it called scribe? Scribe. Uh... Scribe. 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 Uh, scribe. I don't know. Scribe uh, shops. House of Scribes stuff. Yeah. And a lot of spells. Uh, while we were looting, a patrol walked by, we rolled very bad on the stealth, and they found us. And then, wha pow, bam bam, combat, and uh, that's where we stopped. And don't forget the funny joke. Uh, oh yeah, funny joke. So every... 20 is now that's done and everyone is now at crit so yeah what a funny joke very funny joke very funny all right here we go uh oh also as an aside for chat brainer won't be able to make today's session so now we'll be running him in combat speaking of oh, which access yeah <laughs> let me give you access I do not like your funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> Where the hell is his name? Nob. Nob. Okay, oh, try not. Aha! Go ahead, take your turn. Yep. Walk up. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah, hitting the shield guy. Yeah. With seven yeah, steel. Oh. Yep. Try it. Uh, no reckless. Unlucky. Go sure, Let's see. Give me. Does he? Barbarian have any bonus? Act? Does not. Didn't yes, we it's the best fighting style that lets someone move as a reaction that's without only... provoking attacks of opportunity. I think that's only. I hit. Uh... <laughs> yeah, when you deal damage, yeah. Ah. So that's, I think that's all he okay. can do. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Haha! I am Feel unstunned. It. Hmm. What do I do? Don't bleed. Uh, um. I, think I will start with a. Marshall check. <laughs> That's insufficient. What else you got? All, all right. Um, that dwarf there. I'm gonna pull my string back on my short bow, and 
I'm gonna take a shot. 21. Target. Uh, this guy right here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Little hit. And, and damage. And do I get sneak attack with this? Yeah. Yep. We're oh, wonderful. Next, yep. There you go. So 10 points of damage total. And one bleed. And then for my movement, I'm going to move five, that, 15. Oh, I should take a bleed damage because I uh, have bleed on me. Ouch. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, and then I will. Can I like, is there like a place I can uh, bonus action hide? My cutting action? Like inside the building? Yeah. Plenty of places. Cool. I will position myself there and attempt to hide behind, like, a uh, bookshelf. Okay. That's another bleed. Yep. Ouch. And uh, that is... My open. Oh, there's my turn. Okay. Well, let's skip over my guy. All right. Um. Uh, oh, I can't hold, see. Hold, hold, hold. It's get. It's get over me. It's get over me. It's skipped over? All right. Yeah, cool. I think what happened is we both hit end turn for me at the same time, Arcadum. So, All right, I'm gonna, skipped. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit Topaz. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's nice and stunned. I still fucking that miss him. Misses. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Tragic. Oh. All right, go ahead, Fabio. But, uh, um, but yeah, uh, I can't see Ophelia, so I can't really heal her. That's unfortunate. Uh, mm. <laughs> Maybe heal Topaz, I guess? I'm about to take a shit ton of actions. Where is this uh, ruler? It's 25 feet. All right. I'm going to actually go to Joseph. Whoa. And I'm going to heal Joseph. Um, to try and get your impale not as extant. Sweet. So. I'm pretty sure he's that four bleed. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, masterwork is. has to be higher than a D. Three and then then three, sorry, right? Yeah. All right, so just one charge. Uh, roll a six. You roll for one, but no no bleed, no bleed. Don't we roll that? So then do. Oh, it's sorry. It'll be it's it's a three automatically. Okay, so I heal three. Got you. Yeah. I think it's min yeah, four, yeah. but I don't know. No. Let's see. All right. So you're healed. No bleed. Uh. Feels good. At that action, I have no real bonus actions right now. So, I'm actually just gonna end my turn. You got it, buddy. Very cool. Yep. Okay. Next up, we've got this cursed guy.
Mm. Let me see here. Okay. Let's go ahead and try and do this. Let's move away. In this direction. Provoking from Brainer. Brainer type. And can you use uh, Spell and Seal on a reaction or not? Uh, mm. What does it say? It's uh, well, It says with every attack, but uh, I mean... You said it was only once per round, right? So. Well, oh yeah, know. it is, but it's a new round. Yes. Uh, it's kind of like the same how you can proc sneak attacks on. Uh... Yeah, it's the same ruling with sneak attacks that you can if you want. Okay. Yes. Do we want him up to four? Or... I think so. Think Go so. for it. Yeah. Sure. Hit him. Try and smack Please. his face in. That'll miss. Shouldn't you? I. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, he does have. It's him, myself, and Joey. Oh! Why, why is it not so roll, roll the d4. Hmm. Roll the d4. That misses. 15 misses. Uh, okay, can I attack opportunity with spear? Yeah. Ooh! Okay, cool. Uh, I'm afraid. So, let's see how well this does. Ooh. Oh, okay. Damn it. Okay, so it's damage from spear plus from instinct, because he was my instincted target, which is now a D10. Oh shit. Thank God, dude. Yes, Don't it is now a D10. Oh. And favor foe adds how much to it? Two. Right? two. That's two. Oh, right. Only to hit, I think. But, uh... So, 14. No, 13. 13. Yeah, no, it's with plus two, it's 14. What am I saying? All right. Still Can you move him now, or is that only when he enters? You'll take it. What's that? Didn't hear you. Can you move him now from your uh, fighting style, or is that only when he enters your fighting style? Oh my style? god, that is so... He has to hit me. <clears throat> Oh, okay. For the fighting style to start go okay. going. Okay. Yeah. I will now shoot Topaz. Yep, that meets. Uh, okay. No! Oh, damn. Lo roll load. Oh, 16 God. damage. Oh. That's one below max. God. <laughs> and I'm down. Heavens. It happens. But, okay. uh, does he take the bleed damage? Or right. he does he... I, I took the bleed damage. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, that's I, why he's so low. Yeah, Sorry. I, I got it. I've done this before. Sorry. Go ahead, Joseph. I just... just I'm going to move Sorry. through Fabio's face and then come down here to avoid the freaking moonbeam. And then I'm going to... Do we need to marshal anything? Because I don't want to waste the roll if I get a crit. I should have. Is there anything that we need to know, guys? Uh, tactics. Other than that, not really. Tactics with our shoe list. Uh, okay, so I still have five darts left that are poisoned. So I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna start with a guy who's already near death. Uh, first shot. That's a crit. That's a crit. It is a crit. Okay. Oh! Sweet. Do you want me to throw my other three, or do you want me to just kill him? Whoa. <laughs> What's the damage? It's uh, it's three times the die, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh... Right. That's enough. And you're hitting that small, the guy's injured, right? I can give right? another d4 if you like. Yeah, the guy's already injured, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's Damn. plenty. That's plenty. Okay. I got five more darts. Uh, four. Mm, no, four more poison darts. Five more to throw. My god. And I'm going for the other guy in the moonbeam. Fifteen hit? No. Negative. Okay. Then third dart. Oh yeah, you're blessed. Uh, I think that's already in there, isn't it? No. 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 
Oh, it's not. Oh, so would a bless make that 15 hit? Yes. Possibly. Okay, so then I'll roll the d4 to make that 12. See if that 12 hits. It does, it does not. not. Another 15. Cool. Okay, so we got one hit from the action. Do you want that damage now yes. before I do the bonus action? All right. That's 11 damage. And that one is poisoned, which is a DC 13 con save. I assume he beats. Yep. He, he met the DC. Alright. Bonus action. I got three more darts. 26. Uh, Damage. 29. I'm skirting the edge. Oh, you want me to do the damage for all of them? Yeah. Together or? Yeah, one at a time. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You must roll the damn it. Uh, it's making me. It's making me have to do the, yeah, the attack roll. So I'll that's, just that's why I wanted you to do the damage each time because you're not gonna be able to roll any of those. Okay, well that last one missed me. You're blessed. It's a. Yeah, you're right. That hits. Sixteen. Yeah. Damage. Sweet. So all three. All right. So that's for the first one that hit. There's a 13, which is another con save. Okay, and I got this next one, which is the last con save you'll have to make. Which is 11 damage. And then I got one more that is without a con save which is another 13 damage. All right, that'll drop that guy. Holy shit. He's a machine gun. And sweet. Cool. I uh, see, I do, I do 10 feet of movement, so I'll do... Uh, five, <coughs> ten, and fifteen. Sorry, my my computer's being really slow. And twenty. I'm trying to move like right in front of Ophelia, but it's taking me ages. Okay, cool. And that'll be my turn. You just get a new one. <laughs> That's the internet. Yeah. I would love to. Yeah. Oh, that guy's that guy's dead. What? Okay. Topaz. Death saving throw. That's pass. a pass. Hey, time for me to roll mine. Ooh, I'm fucking dead. Let's go. Alrighty, gutter. So, 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 so. Fabio, can you heal uh, Topaz on your turn? Uh, I actually wanted to drag that guy in because uh, he's kind of in the open, but uh, I can heal him. I kind of want to dump my exposure right now. No, you gotta wait for me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry. No, I think I think you can just dump it on. You can just dump it on some someone else. Yeah, I'll that's do, okay. I think I'll just dump it on uh, this one. It's five exposure, so not that bad. <laughs> DC seventeen. DC seventeen. I forgot how high your DC is. Target is which one? The one uh, on your left. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. 
Five exposure. Okay. Oh. Damn. Wow. That doesn't matter for me, so. <laughs> and uh, as a bonus action, I will flex and then I will marshal, I guess. Flex. What is the <laughs> sub race? <laughs> Say again? What's the sub race? Uh, dwarf sub race? Oh, their sub race? Their sub race is. Oh. Uh, their sub race is Puppet. Ah. Oh. <laughs> nice. And that's my turn. They're not even considered doors anymore. Tragic. Mm. Well, you know. I could have I could I couldn't because it would take my action, so yeah. Get him. Ah, it's think... me again. Time to hit. Yeah, I don't think Without... you should uh, dispel yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm not spelling stealing this. Just normal. Ah, not even reckless. With bless? With bless? That hits. With, with bless, yeah. that hits. Roll damage. Nice. Nice. Fat damage. You love to see it. Nice. Damn. Oh, I love that animation. Animation, yeah. And that's eight hack, and it should reduce AC and AR by one. Uh, uh, do you have any other addi additional modifiers? They're just hitting with nine, yeah. It should actually be ten because of. Exposure is not adding up. The mana knight. Okay. Yeah. So ten. So no, it's it's half of the exposure. So. Oh, no, it's not. So it's catch. It's a, a weapon specialization is only. So it should actually be a plus two, from that. Yeah. Okay. I need to fix this buff. Oh, I see. Okay. So ten. Okay. Let's see here. Eleven. Eleven. 11? Okay, is it it's 10 or 11? Like, like, come on, guys. It's 11. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, like, you ignore the heavy shield because you're using an axe. So, let's see. Damage still. Anything else for Brador? Ophelia. All right. Um, Ophelia is going to pop up out of cover and take a shot at uh, this fine fellow. Um, so that should be at advantage because I was stealthed. Yep. So a nineteen to hit. Nice. Confirmation of hit. Yep. All right. Four plus five is nine points of uh, piercing damage. On this guy? Yes. All right, no damage. Ah, unfortunate. Uh, and then I will move. So I, I take my bleed. And then five, 10, 15, 20. 25. Yeah, and I'll stand right next to uh, Fabio and I'll item interaction, put my short bro away, and take out my dagger. Okay. Is that it for you? Yes, that'll be it for my turn. And I will bundle up in my blanket. <sighs> Alrighty, time to be a cursed dwarven defender, and I'm gonna attack Gunner. How rude! I'm just glad they didn't go for the that down one. Hits. Eighteen hit you. Yep. Seven damage. Nice. 
Oh wait, that like uh, that's half three, right? So it should uh, actually do more than. So you just take straight seven. Okay, that'll work. Uh, next up is Fabio. Didn't take from it. What do you All say? Right. Uh, oh, no, no, it's uh. Hi, I'm bleeding. How are you doing? Hello, bleeding. I'm Fabio. Uh, anyway. Hello, Dad. <laughs> I'm Fabio's dad. <laughs> it gives a slight smile. Father? <laughs> Papa? Uh, Papa! <laughs> I haven't seen you since the Great War. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, His eyes aren't even open. Alright, uh, you know what? You are bleeding. Have a... Have a d6. Hooray! Nice. Up to 22. And... Uh, Ooh, two... Four, five. All right, uh, I'm gonna move around, so I'm gonna go choose my right tool and go across uh, Topaz and come to the window here. Hmm. Um, do I provoke? Mm, no. It is not taken. Okay. Okay. And uh, I would like to know if there is any role that I can make to sort of look around to see if there's any signs or presence of any reinforcements coming in or any other people sort Perception. of walking around. Perception. All right. You're thinking what I was thinking. Nice. Yeah, there's definitely sounds in the distance. Okay. Sound of marching feet. All right, and I can't, uh, like, sort of figure out how far, how long until it comes our way. Say again, Fabio? No, I'm just asking. I, I can't um, sort of discern how long until it gets to us or how far away it is oh, from us. Oh, just they're, in the distance. They're, uh, they're a few rounds away. It's, con okay. it's conceivable you can defeat this enemy and get out of here before they get here, but you'll have to be quick. Okay. All right, cool. And... Uh, that's my turn. Oh, oh, sorry. Bonus action. Um, killer instinct mark towards him. I didn't do that before. But that'll be my turn off that. Okay, rolling for this guy. That guy's dead. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna throw more fucking darts at that guy. Uh, action for the first set of three. Uh, so plus, plus plus. Roll the d4. That's ah. a miss. No. Nah. Second dart. Ooh. Here's some damage. No poison. What's the original AC of this guy? Doesn't the first one hit as well? His AC is 18. Oh, it's 18. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Hold on, dealing damage. That action. Mm -hmm. Oh, holding. Yeah, you're hitting this guy, right? Obviously. Okay. Doesn't it all happen at once? Well, yes. 
beside taking each sequential point of damage. Wait, did you did you hit with any other attack or only one? Uh, roll bless. This is the yeah, this is the last one. I got one more. Ah, uh, that hits with a nineteen. Okay, add that. So, and that'll be nice. twelve damage. And then I got a bonus action for you too, with three more. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> what a funny joke! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's crazy. I think this is the this is the worst. Like for me, this is the worst hero he could have drawn. <laughs> so okay, I'm stunned. I'm done. Yeah, Luffy's four more darts down. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> what it, what it, that's you, crazy you what a funny joke smiling right now arcade i mean how funny that, that joke is bro i'm so laughing right now well give him that bleed would you yeah well thank you after i make you start laughing so hard <laughs> I can't control funny it. joke uh yeah, I hit him twice, so he's got two. I know I don't second pass. Gunner. I want to. How many charges do you have, uh, Fabio? Of healers kit? You unmute it. Oh yeah, no mind. Uh, eight. Okay. Uh, can you get up, uh, Topaz? I want to move my moonbeam. Okay, let's do that. Boom. Action to move Moonbeam. Without hitting the party. <laughs> Without hitting the party, yes. Yeah, I think this guy's dead before it comes back to my turn. Uh, well, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy, I love getting irradiated. And I don't think I have much more. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. It's your turn again, dude. That guy's passed, so. Brador. Oh, wow, it's me. I think this time uh, will be reckless. Uh, Okay, oh. 19 will hit with a 17. Alrighty, and I think that's it. Mm. Okay, what do you guys do? I think that's all. Am I missing anything? Um. Dying noises. No. Okay. I. Do you, do you want me to use a Dying potion, or do you noises. want to just get them up with a standard kit? Uh, I'd say uh, I'd say. Yeah. This guy. Get, as well. Get him up with a kit. Everyone else, kill the the unconscious folks. I'm getting the body from outside and bringing him in. Oh, all right. Um, uh, you have to get him. Oh, all right. He's got him. Um, I'm gonna, um, kneel down, put my, uh, mask that I got from the Caligax on, and I'd like to, um, see if I could harvest some of this cursed dork blood. So, you do not want to leave? Uh, I just want to- I want to leave. Oh, well, if the party wants to leave, then I will just That's simply- it. All that shit you're doing takes time. Ah, very well. We, another time, then. Doesn't look Much like time. they're actively coming- for combat or just oh, yes. rolling? You you don't know, but they're coming, so I need to know if I you're going them. or not. We're going. He's dead. Okay. I, yeah, I we're just finishing off. people off. Okay, so you finish the people that are downed off and then flee. Yes. Yeah, I'm putting this guy inside, like where the other near the where where Gunner's token is right now, and okay. then flee. That's fine. Yeah. We. Yeah. 
get outside and let's skedaddle with all of our loot scrolls and all. Yep. I have right. marked on the map so we can come back. Yeah. Okay. Well, if they're coming this way, they're going to find it first. Yeah, well, well, they won't need it, so whatever. We just close the door and then... <laughs> all right. There's a broken window. That <laughs> well, doesn't matter. Well, that's normal here. And blood. Run from the cops. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this reminds me of my dear friend. Okay. Benjamin Hill. Right on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do we have some stuff to go over? Uh oh. Well, you guys actually have money oh. now. Oh yeah. And with yeah. money comes opportunities. I thought it came legal immunity. What? No, we don't we don't have enough of that. <laughs> Out of my part of the world. <laughs> all right, give me just a second to go to the bathroom, and we're gonna go over all the shit you can do with that money. All right, I do a lot of money. Bear back bathroom. Yes, sir. All right. So, well, overall, I'd say here. that was a excellent encounter that we had there. Good fun. Absolute win. Yeah, uh, Topaz, that was some very good footwork with that, uh, what, what is it, that halberd? Is that what it is? It's a glaive. Ah, glaive. Whatever that is. Um, yeah. Good job. And Joseph, surprise me there with the amount of dots you were throwing and the efficiency of them. All right, then. I uh, guess I just simply uh, turn our turn and just start being forward whenever Kaden gets up. <laughs> he's, just, he's just muted. Not, Give him some time. He, not, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's socially shy. Give him some time. <laughs> we want to rest uh, one uh, long rest before we go out, right? So just to get some exposure to drop. Yeah, and I'm handing my Dwarven Wound hmm. to Buena. <laughs> Um, who, uh, who? No, who, who put him to five? I'm putting it uh, in the loot box. I have to wait for Arcane to get back to the uh, so I can I, talk about this. But just um, give it to her. Yeah. Hmm? That's my old token. What's that? Uh, this. Oh, 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 no, nope. I don't want your token. I want my token. Oh. Um. Yes, I will take it. Here to go. I can only send it to your former version. Um, uh, send it to my former version and I will just transfer it over. Uh, confirm. The former Ophelia is actually the middleman of all transactions. Yes, yes. Uh, wait, where did you deposit it? Uh, there's, I have the Earth Rune already, I have that. I need the Dolvin. There we go. Yeah, so Robert had one potion of purging. If anybody wanted to use that, it was in a stash. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a different uh, potion, uh, I think. That's a physical um, uh, stuff. Yeah, that one's from Nana. Who, who here has, has a lot of exposure on them right now? I'm at five. I thought right you were five. Five is the highest, yeah. Five. Raina should drop after the longest. How? Time, so. Um... How willing are you to provide samples of Wizard and Ivo? For what purpose? Your, your blood. Uh, to study. And what are you trying to learn? How, well, um, you know, exposure works and magic works and all that. A hobby of mine, I suppose. That's a lot. You know how to use. The, the Why are you walking away from me, Fabio? Uh, uh, what? I'm just speaking to the to the the fellow friend of ours up here in the front to uh, to get rid of any sort of remnant uh, <clears throat> situations we might find ourselves on. Oh yes, yeah, such a. I don't. Um, I, I, it was long. it was stopped. I don't know why. I still. It's a little little cut actually. It's a little, little tiny scrape. Mm. I've been told what some ladies do. Uh -oh. 
Boy. <laughs> Unfortunate. I'm gonna let that oh, that's there. what you're talking about. Um, Dead silence. Anyway. Are either one of you interested, Fabio or Topaz? I'm fine with it. You're fine with it? Wonderful. Excellent. We'll have to uh, also worry about getting rid of that excess exposure, because I believe the church is yep. still here. So perhaps, maybe, I could be the go-between for the lot of you. We'll see you all rest. Maybe me and... I'm good. Joey? <clears throat> I'm wherever you need me to be. I don't know. I don't know who has exposure. Really, um, I don't touch the stuff. I'm not great at sensing that. I'll stay by the door. All right then. Do you yes. want to come along with us, regular regular man in robes with a normal walking stick? Yes, if you can. Can you give me a masterwork? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. yes. What just happened? <laughs> he put on a, a regular man, man. He's just clothes. a regular guy with a regular walking stick. All right, I'm back. So, you look uh, like a ninja turtle. Okay, so I think what we're doing is is we're gonna have Fabio, Brainor, and Topaz, since out of all of us, they have the most exposure kind of stay back and don't do any talking and just kind of chill out, rest, try and get rid of it. I think we'll do um, a long rest first, right? I mean, yeah, we can do that first if you want. We can that's fully that's rest and then have conversation about what to do with all this income we've come into possession. Everybody's got their own gold bar, right? Yes. And then, I just want yeah, to make sure, because I got eight in my backpack right now. I don't. Okay. I got well, I have I have one. Osteoporosis. <laughs> That's a bone disease. <laughs> I'll, carry the crippling depression. Use, I'll carry the six that we're gonna use for the camp, and then everybody else can just take one. And that way. Well, yeah, you know, we can I we can long rest me. first, maybe get get some exposure down below critical threat levels. Again, I can't tell because I am, you know, unfortunately unable to detect that. <laughs> this is where I'd put my detection. If I had one! <laughs> Making me cry. Good. Uh, no. <laughs> Twist Don't. the knife. What did that get to? <laughs> oh god. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck it, I don't care. Um, but yeah. So our plan is just to rest to try and drop at least a level of exposure and then come into camp. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah we'll do that. In the meantime, Arcadum, uh, with the character's permissions, I would like to gather a small sample of blood from Topaz and or Fabio. From the new guy, because Fabio does not want to do that. <laughs> Alright then. Is that a, a cool if I use my alchemy kit to, ha to yeah, gather yeah, a I, little bit? You don't gotta ask me that. The other one says blood you're taking. Sweet. I will add that in. I will say uh, one sample of Topaz's blood exposure level. Uh, how 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 much exposure do you think you have? If if, in a, if you can give me a rough estimate, like what you think? Might... About halfway to my limit. Half, halfway, halfway. All right. So exposure level at half. So, wonderful. I write that down. And uh, thank you so much. Why did it? Why did it? Anyway, I'll be ready to go shopping. All right, let's take that long rest, everyone. Sounds good to me. All right, so boom. 
Ah, rested. Long. Feels good. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Hmm. Odo's favor should have been passed away from me for now. Well, you see, I had a cruel joke played on me recently, so I'll just go without it. All right, well, bless your heart. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> it will, however, take me a while to get away from you. From you. <laughs> All right, so, so do we all drop by one? Is that how that works? The, when it's five, it's all on a team. All right, anybody who's five and below drops by one. How's everybody? Five and below drops by one. Yes. Dinar has permanent three, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Effectively. <laughs> Wonderful. Now we can just say that we were fighting some mages down there and killed them. We don't even need to mention it. Yeah, don't even need to more. mention it. If they bring it up, then we mention it. Hey, uh, Topaz, can I ask a favor of you, man? Depends. What's the favor? Well... If you wouldn't mind, could you repair this for me? And he'll just hand you his chainmail. Ah, yes, I'm going to need my armor repaired as well. Sure, I'll repair what I can in the meantime. That's a new thing. I had to and get so armor repaired. And see what we can spend this gold huh. on. All right. Y'all ready for options? Hell I do that uh, yeah. So, to be clear, uh, since uh, Hanato isn't here, I'm going to avoid moving forward with... Um, story-based roleplay, because there's a lot of shit that can happen, especially mm -hmm. relevant to him because of his Harrow Knight. Uh, so I figured we just, okay. since you have actual money to spend, that we just handle all of the um, bookkeeping and setup for that. Sound good? Yep. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Tease me with it, why don't you? Alrighty, then. <laughs> Wait, what? Talking about the Harrow Knight stuff, I'm actually, like, really invested, and I can't wait to see what the Harrow Knight stuff does. Oh, yeah, there's lots of stuff there, but I can't do it if he's not here. So, let me close that. Kamehameha will come and smite thee if you aren't careful. Kagamehugameka <laughs> Kagome! Kagome! Give me your energy. Man, I am... <laughs> you ever just been hungry? I'm fucking hungry, dude. Ugh. Hey, I'm hungry too. That's funny. What's for, yeah, what's for I'm eating right now. God, I should have got. Um, I think it's because my neighbors is I like, like cooking something, then it's just coming up through my vents. Mm, it's driving me crazy. It smell like Fuck, I want to it Smells like lasagna, dude. Once. Ooh, lasagna's mm. nice. Lasagna. Internal Garfield become external. Yes, my internal Garfield is now external Garfield. All right, so you've oh, got yeah. twelve thousand gold. Whoo, boy, that's quite the pretty penny. Sure. All right. It's a spicy meatball. Let me zoom you out here. Let me. Oh, I'm feeling zoomed. Hold on. Let me. I'm sorry. The green hood is just the perfect addition to our party. <laughs> he looks like a ninja turtle. Hey, I know that guy. I knew that guy. <laughs> okay, I was getting all my stuff together here. Okay. Make sure chat can see something, can hear pleasant tunes while we figure this stuff out. All righty then. You got a lot of choices to make. Um, right now, your camp has let's see base storage of the caravan you have a comfortable resting campsite you have a dwarven smith you have mess tents you have an apoth a minor apothecary and you have wooden defenses uh, that's what's been built so far there's a uh you're what's up I said yes sir oh okay <laughs> it's a, it came off weird that way um <laughs> all right 
With 12,000 gold, you got a lot of options. Uh, you've got dwarven crafters there, so you've got a lot of options there. You've got good natural material and uh, a supply chain to Demon's Deep that's established. So essentially, you can build whatever the hell you want, really. Uh, so the limitations that are in place is that... Okay, so the limitations that are in... The limitations that are in place are based off of the Deputy Thane Soro Shadestone. Um, he is a lawful neutral entity, so the only thing that's really off the table is uh, heavy chaos. So any chaos-aligned buildings, chaos-aligned um, uh, guard or uh, staff, so those yeah, will be off no the table. Leaders. Because remember, but we can't build the Eye of Sauron. So remember, um, well, technically you could because he's lawful. But and, anyway, yeah. the, 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 <laughs> the the point the point is is that that's your only real limiter is what the alignments are. Can't have anything with chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because you don't fully own the camp, but you are his trusted advisors. So essentially, you get to decide what to build, and you can always ask the deputy thane for advice if you're not sure what to build. I feel like so, I understand. So, the first thing that the deputy things Thane suggests that should be built is a smelter. Hmm. So, a does he say why? Yes, I was about to say that. <laughs> um, so, the smelter is an additive towards the dwarven smith. It's a tier two forge. The smelter is a specialization that allows you to take um, weapons, armor, and other such items that you find, break them down into their base materials, and produce stocks out of them. The reason why that's really good is mm -hmm. because you're not going to be doing a lot of mining. You're going to be doing a lot of looting. And because you're going to be bringing a lot of that back, if you have a smelter, then the forge is able to recycle the items that you find. So if you find a magic, like a, like a really powerful item, but none of you can use it, all its base parts can be broken down. So like any rare materials it's made out of, any gems it has, things like that. You guys get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So instead of just getting a base gold value, you can get some actual crafting value out of it. Um, that's the uh, suggestion that the Deputy Thane suggests. And that would cost you 2,000 gold pieces to construct a smelter, a smelting forge. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? I say we go sounds for it. Sounds good, yeah. That sounds good. Okay. I don't see a downside. Yeah, I don't see what that nice. Uh, looks like it's I'm good with it. Uh, I would just like to hear like everyone's like total suggestions first before we commit to things, right? You're not committing yeah. anything yet. Word. I'm just, yeah, yeah. Just I'm just putting it all out in front of you. Okay, right. so God, you have you have enough money that basically you can start telling me what it is that you want to build. Um, I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, so basic base building is separated into four different categories. There's fortification, munitions, morale, and logistics. Fortification has to deal with defensive structures, uh, housing for barracks, so, you know, troop size, stuff like that. Munitions have to do with arms and armor and mm -hmm. actual ammunition and things like that. Uh, morale has to do with things like food and drink, uh, healing services, and anything that keeps the morale of the troops high. Uh, such as brothels. And the fourth thing is logistics, which deals with trade routes, scouting, reconnaissance, uh, communications, everything that makes an army run. So those are your four <laughs> basic categories. Um, right now, 
you're pretty much the smallest amount in all of them, but that gives you an idea of what you want to build into. So, essentially, you have, um, how can I put it? Let's put it this way. So, the Forge is Tier 2, right? So, the Forge being Tier 2 essentially equates to the equivalent power level of a plus 2 to your, um, to your munitions. You get what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's tier two mm -hmm. and it costs you 2000 mm -hmm. gold for the most part, whatever tier the building is, it's going to be that much times 1000 in gold piece value. Now, keep in mind, this does not count individual items that you want to buy and things like that. That does not count any of that. That is yeah. something you're going to have to explore like in your own way. But, uh, this is a general outlook on how um, on how your base manipulation can go. So, something you can think of, you can say, Hey, Arcadum, I really want there to be a powerful hospital that can heal our troops and heal us. So, if you got a Tier 2 hospice, then that means that you would have access to that. It probably cost around 2,000 gold, and it would increase that aspect of your base. You guys get what I mean? Yeah. So, I would suggest that the party first discusses um, what statistic they want to focus on. Uh, point number two, what what within those categories they would like to focus on. And number three, how much of this are they willing to spend on base building and how much are they willing to spend on personal supply? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Can we buy a potion from the um... church? You can buy potions from the church, yes. Oh, that reminds me. Okay. There's a, also a very big question that you need to decide. And that is if you purchase a chapel. If you purchase a chapel, then you'll have access to a fifth category, which is uh, spiritual. Which is, spir mm -hmm. which is spiritual support. Or in, in this case, um, it's how much the church's presence is within this, uh, within this encampment. Right now, it has a very minimal presence. It is basically there as an advisory kind of role and eventually will fade away. However, if you purchase a chapel, you'll have access to all the extra stuff that the church gives you access to, but it will be a permanent influence. Okay. I don't think this group's jiving with that one, boss man. <laughs> Up to you. Yeah. I will just, say um, that just from reading um, the room in, a little bit. Investing in the church brings a lot of benefits, like advanced items, uh, alchemy, uh, access to the latest innovations uh, therein. Um, it mm -hmm. gives you access oh, yeah. to magic that's usable. It gives you access to specialized guards, um, and probably the most important aspect of it, I think, in this regard is that its unique resource is you can receive blessings from Metheria. Blessings are powerful buffs that last throughout your expedition. So it's um, there you go. it's pretty big stuff. Even after hearing that, I doubt they'll bite. Hey, it's, it's up to you. I, I'm just telling you what's there. Yeah, it's, yep. it's oh, no, just... I personally think we should invest some into logistics. Trade and uh, travel brings information and knowledge. The more we have, the more we can understand where our position is in the grand scheme of things. What it really yeah. matters to bring is money. That's what trade would bring in, yes. Someone that well, speaks my language. Well, also in the Fisian Pines, which is practically wilderness, we don't really know what's around us. That brings me to the, my other point. I think we should invest some into our personal defense. We still have the traitor orc tribes that are roaming about in the local areas. Perhaps maybe some investing into not only the defense of the local town just in our walls, but also some outposts that could send signal warnings if a raid is going to be coming our way. Hmm. We're all going to keep a thousand gold for ourselves, right? Each? Of course. Well, it's... Each? Up to you if you want to use it, but that's mm. like, yeah. up to you. So six is for the camp for sure, and then each of us are individually in charge of another thousand. 
basically. I suppose, yes. And then with that thousand, we can decide if we want to invest it into expanding the settlement more or spending it on our personal selves. Okay. So then to upgrade the town's walls from just wooden defenses to the tier two defenses, that'd be another 2,000, right? Generally speaking, yes. Okay. So then already we're at a base of 4,000 if we go with his smelter idea as well. Mm -hmm. So then what would you think for boosting trade, like a, a tavern or a general store? And I have experience working in a tavern and also the Lonely Inn when it was, from what I can assume, was still standing. Functioned also as a sort of uh, general store, though it was more so traveling traders would make up, set up tents, camp, and just offer their goods to the travelers and adventurers there. And a tavern would also bring in adventurers too. It would, yes. We could just, we could easily have them go and um, look into taking care of the orc problems if that's something we don't want to busy ourselves with. Mm-hmm. So then y'all are saying the priority isn't the money, but just the other aspects of the tavern instead. Yes, the money is something that helps it um, keep it afloat. And if there's uh, a... What's the word? Excess? An excess, yes. Uh, then it's beneficial to invest into other things. And what about y'all? Tavern or general store? Do we know exactly what the general store would do for us? General store would give you access to basic potions and supplies without needing to have church um, uh, ties. But the general store can only offer basic stuff. Okay, so they wouldn't really provide much, like, monetary gain to the city, would they? No, they generate money, just not a lot. Okay. And the contrast, which is like a tavern, what would that specifically give? Well, the tavern would provide bonuses to morale, and it also gives mm -hmm. you access to uh, updates from the outside world that are mm -hmm. through the filter of rumors. And also, it does give you access to an adventurer pool. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the benefits of a tavern are better than that of a general store, in my opinion. At the moment, yes. Okay, so that's 6,000 right there if we do the smelter, the defenses, and a tier 2 tavern. Under um, the logistics tree, I guess you can put it that way, right? Yep. What are like the entry level or like the most the basic sort of cornerstones that we could uh so uh, yeah getting. so you got like um road building you have trade posts you have a raven aviary uh, for communication you have um let's see a scouting tower you have yeah i think that's pretty much the basic stuff of your current geographical setup okay uh, two, so two. I'm sorry, there's like two questions asked there at the same time. I'm sorry, I was just asking like about the tier two along the logistics route. Like, I'm not sure if you got this stuff laid out in front of a list in front of you. Or no, I, I mean, it's there. It's just like, that's just entry level, he said. So that's tier one. Tier yeah. two stuff would be just advanced versions of those. Word. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still leaning towards the tavern. It would put us on the map as well, which is good. I think uh, if we fun. get... Uh, yeah? Uh, maybe we could also just uh, exchange the gems we have right now. We have a bag full, right? So maybe we could use some of that gold. Mm. <laughs> the shinies! Uh, sorry. What? Sorry. What? I was thinking maybe <laughs> we should... Um you know, sell those gems off or exchange them or whatever. So that way we have more money to work with for the camp. 
I mean, I can. I just do it. Do we just do it with the with the thing? Just go up to the thing like, howdy, I got these. Like, I guess we would know. <laughs> Check how much uh, it's worth first. But uh... is anyone a gemologist? <laughs> Any geologists <laughs> in the chat? I am. You stone cutting users. All right. What do you want to know? Uh, how valuable is the bag of gem that Fabio has? Uh, roll it for me. I don't think I ever grabbed one. Stone cutter's tools. So you don't have stone cutter's tools. No, I did not grab them from before. All right. In that case, um, roll a d20 plus your proficiency modifier. Hey, not bad. What'd you roll? 18. Um, the bag of gems is worth approximately 800 gold pieces. Hmm. It's worth about 800 gold. Hmm. Not really much in terms of uh, boosting up the camp. I would. Do you just want to keep all that for yourself? I mean, we can always use it for, uh, you know, personal yeah, inventory, packs, potions, stuff like that. Yes. For sure. That way, we don't have to spend, you know, the whole bar just I... to try and. So I know there's a question these guys have been itching to ask you, Arcadum. Yeah. Over on the map, whenever we found that chest, right? Yeah. There was a guy under a collapsed mine tunnel. Right? Yeah. Can we open that mine back up? Yeah. That would. Do you know, that would be, I assume, like logistics or something. Or... Uh, no, that would be fortifications. Hmm. Oh. Sick. Okay. Uh, oh. how much would that be like? It's the same tier system. It's tier one is thousand, tier two two thousand, so on and so forth. Yeah, but we got these multiples. Yeah, I mean the the better it is, the more income it would provide. Uh, mines specifically have a gamble mechanic that you have like you could find rare stuff which can increase its potency. Also, the first time a mine is opened, I roll to see what kind of mine it is. Really? Which... Did you say gamba in front of Ophelia? You're cutting out. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just said, eh, Let me know yeah. whenever y'all can hear me again. No, we heard oh, no, you. Me. It was sunny. Me, I was talking softly. Apologies. I gotta get a better mic. Okay, so then if we did like a, a tier two mine, um, in place of like beefing up our defenses, since it's still in the same fortification vein, do you guys be okay with that? Hmm. Well, we also have this smutter, but that relies on us bringing things back. Yeah, with the mine, the smelt would be able to be self-sufficient in that sense. Take that raw stock into good stock, yeah? Yeah. They kind of work in... I mean, I personally would not mind investing my own funds into it. Yeah, I'm same here. Having a half of my funds into it, at least. Mm -hmm. I'd put in my gold bar for it. There you go. So that's at least a tier one. So a tier two yeah. needs a tier one plus a tier two, right? So it's 3,000 total. Well, no, mm. it's going to be 2,000 for a tier 2 mine. We would have to set up a tier 1 first. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah would it be up. cumulative like that, Arcadum? For what? Like, if we wanted to get a tier 2 mine, would we have to buy a tier 1 first, making a total of, like, 3,000 gold? No. Just oh, straight okay. to 2. I mean, I think it's a good idea, but I am too greedy to put uh, it on However, uh, however, special specializations like smelter or uh, assembly, you know, stuff like that, those are additions. Those right. are bought laterally, so they don't, they're not included. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we were already sold on the smelter, and just getting the mine kind of just solidifies that choice. Yeah. But, like, my question was, are you guys okay with giving up the wall upgrade for that? Well, I'm going to put in my gold bar for the mine. 
So that's oh. 1,000 gold. Okay. Let me... I, I feel like it needs to be stated. Um, you guys have gold bars you can spend on yourselves, you can spend on the town. So you're looking for mm-hmm. a short-term gain versus a long-term gain, right? That's mm-hmm. the that's the rundown that you're doing. Uh, not that I would say that either way is bad. Just understand what the cost benefits are, right? Yeah. And yeah. some of you are not going to be as item based as others. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm also thinking like maybe also getting a general goods store because then that will give us some entering supplies. Um, we already get potions from Nana, and then we also have so many. But uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah well, uh, can we get something for Nana specifically? I was gonna ask also too. Could we get set up an alchemist uh, stuff? Or at least I could I invest in it personally? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you just... You just... You expand it. Nice. I will. I would like to expand it with my own personal funds. Cool. Like, money outside of the bars that you found? Uh... No, no, with, my, with the bars. That's oh, what I mean. Okay. Like, if, so, if I were to... So... The... Okay, that's fine. I'm just saying it like that made it sound like it's not sorry. Like so, that's kind of weird, but it's fine. Yeah, what wording was wrong. What are you guys doing? Yeah. So okay, uh, let's write down what we are guaranteed getting. So we're guaranteed getting the smelter. Yeah. And we're guaranteed getting the tavern. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we're split on for fortifications on if we want to invest in the walls or in the mine right i mean my vote's for the mine but mm-hmm. like you guys mm-hmm. are trying to pay it out of pocket so we could try and get both but i don't even know if that's necessary i'm I, I, no remember what my character would want to do personally personal goals she would not pay out of pocket to get both so it'd have to be one or the other i'm doing out of pocket for the mine so at least a tier one mine okay i will we can, I we can... that actually so okay so do we want to get both the walls and the mine then I don't know if we I mean, need the walls, honestly, but we have to make, make a. Now, so. Can I make a suggestion? Mm-hmm. All right. If we're getting the tavern, I would actually like to personally invest on a road. Mm. Well, because if we're getting the tavern and we get a road, at least the way that you know I'm picturing it, um, we allow better access to our camp That's right true. which means not only do things move around faster like around the tavern but we're also more likely to get more people yeah right and if we do set up trade um like trade stations again it just makes that smoother if you want to call it like that yeah um shit, you have a good point I don't mind paying for the road if it will only cost one bar for a tier one. It doesn't have to be a bougie road, but I'm just saying. The uh, road with the t- like a one cart road, yeah. It's just enough for people to see, hey, there's a road here. It needs somewhere. Then, hey, with, we can. A little sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. If the tier one road is a thousand, I'll put the bar that's under my name for the road. Okay. And I will. We already have a tier one alchemist set up for Nana, right? Yeah, the apothecary. Okay. Okay. And I don't know if I think I'll save my gold. Then I have something that I like. I personally want to try and buy an item with mine to try and yeah. boost up my stuff. But I don't even know if it's possible with this certain like the facilities we have right now to get masterwork stuff. We only got masterwork stuff because of the church, right? And that's limited time resource. There... Limited time resource. So, Arcadum, like with the money we have right now, would we be able to buy masterwork stuff for our characters? Mm-hmm. Well, I think with the church, we awesome. needed the silver coin. Well, they might accept gold. Uh, I think you might have stepped away. I'm here. Sorry. I was reading some. 
What's up? Okay, sorry. I I was just asking if there was a way for us to buy Masterwork stuff right now for our characters. It, you can, yes. Because, like, that, yeah. would, that would be what I would want to do. You have first. a Dwarven that's, Smith. That's... You, okay. You'd have to... You could buy it, but you'd have to wait for it to be completed. Like, it needs to be made. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to wait for it to get made and then grab it next time or the time after that we're back in camp. Um, but I just want to allocate my gold to that and then whatever's left over, I'm willing to put to the camp wholeheartedly. Okay. Um, but would a thousand gold pieces be able to get me something like a masterwork dart pouch for all my darts to give them some sort of additional properties? No. Okay. Well, I mean, you could have... Alright, well, it depends on what those properties are. Um, uh, I'd like, like to know what it's possible. Well, there's lots of stuff to build. Um, so, masterwork-wise, of those things that you build, there's a couple of applications that can be made on them. Uh... So, like, I'll use an example. Let's say you wanted to uh, make them fire fluxed, which means they deal fire damage, right? Fire hmm. flux would be tier one uh, masterwork improvement. And applied to ammunition, it has a slightly lessened effect, but essentially, for five fire flux darts, would cost you about. Uh, 750 gold. I see. Now remember, what I was, since that's ammunition, yeah. that means when you throw it, you lose half of it. Right. Every time. That's that's why I was asking about something like the pouch to put the darts in. Like, I've seen you talk about Masterwork quivers for arrows. So I was hoping there'd be something like that for darts. I mean, there are, but they're even more expensive than that. Okay. Well, if it's so, at my price range, then there's... Well, yeah, your your build route is an expensive one, which is... Yeah. This, which is what I've told people that think they're too powerful. Like, it's... You're throwing, your, you're, you're throwing your entire wealth pool into it, and it's not a uh, permanent increase. It, it's detractable, so... Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. I get you. No worry for me, man. Then, if it's something that I can get, you know, right away or start building towards outside of just increasing the camp, then I'm just going to start increasing the camp. I'll be honest. Um, unless one of you guys need something like super critical uh, to your character build, um, I think it's better that you just spend it on the camp. Because you're just going to get yeah. more out of it anyway. I think I was the only one on the fence about putting all of my wealth into myself at the camp. Uh, I'm trying to think if Brainor would have any arguments here. Um, does he have play mail? Yeah, yeah. So he has a nice he play mail. Yeah. So. Oh, so he has play mail. So yeah, he's probably fine. Yeah, I think is, is there a gym we can to... buy for him? Is there a gym <laughs> we can buy for him? Uh, there <laughs> is. There is a. Stronger. There is a uh, training yard. Yeah. Oh shit! What effect? <laughs> you know the benefits that would provide. So the training yard has a lot of cool stuff. Uh, first, it. First, it allows your um, your troops to gain advanced training, like martial feats and stuff like that, which is very good. But what it does for you is it lowers the retrain time by half on all that stuff. And, hey, and it can also give you access to unique feats and other features. Mm-hmm. I think I uh, I don't want to be the guy to interject, but I think that's something that he wanted to like. So he said, if there's a gym, I would like a gym. So yeah, <laughs> well, it yeah, is, it, it, just it, it's basically a gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, you think we should do that for him? Yeah, for his bar. Do you want to put his bar towards the training yard then? I think so. I think he'd like it. Okay, so right now we've got 
two k uh, two bars left. Uh, four of the original six have been used on the smelter in the tavern. Mine's been used on a road. Hold on. Topaz's is used on a mine. Let me okay. get this list out. Tier two forge smelter two thousand locked in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And you want a what tier tavern? Tier two. Tier we have tier one, right? So. Tier two. It doesn't matter actually. Is it always flat? Two K to go to two. Generally, <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's beneficial to go higher. Let's start. Okay. Got it. Okay, tier two ta no, ta the... tier two tavern, two thousand locked in. Okay, next. So for the mine, I think we should just sink that into tier two, maybe yeah. even the three, to see like I don't know if it would help, but like would it augment the initial roll to see what kind of mine we got if we just yes. put more money into it? What do I you would say yeah, tier three because going paying three k to go up to tier three later is. Minus 2k. Yeah, it's kind of a stink. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should so. do tier 3 personally. I agree, actually. Okay. So, Gamba. that looks like 7,000 gold spent. Anything else? Uh, a tier 1 road. The road. Yep. Tier 1 road. Can I just confirm what uh, actual benefits it does mechanically? Uh, tier one road. A tier 1 road um, gives you Faster turnover time to recruit staff, to recruit crafters, and to replenish um, any lost troops. Um, it also increases the rate in which traders arrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's Ooh, important. Okay. All right, I'm cool with it. Mm -hmm. So if we get a tier one road, that would put us at 8,000 spent. Do Is there yeah. anything else... Uh, that we would want to buy after the road. I mean, of course, the training yard, right? Um, which, like, I'm fine with leaving the training yard at tier one. But do we think there's any benefit to having a higher tier road? Mm. I'm trying to think ahead of like, you know, if we upgrade the road right so now. So if you up, two. if you upgrade the road, everything that I just said gets better, and you also have um, access to special events. Mm. So like traveler events. Mm. 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 Damn it! Okay, let me set the let me set the fucking catchword, man. Why you gotta do this to me? Well, Offense. we are gonna do trading eventually, so it's better to have better roads. Yeah. If if we're pushing towards that route, then I would I would like to suggest that maybe what we should do is we with the rest of it. If you guys want to use all the bars, right? We either get a tier a tier two road and training yard, and then the one bar that we have left, we invest in uh, trader outposts or scouting towers, whichever one you guys think are overall right. better. Meet my bar. Mm, that's a, that's why I said if, right? That's why I said if. If you don't want to, that's fine. We, we can just have a, tra uh, a tier 1 yard instead of a tier 2. And then invest that singular bar into a, a trader outpost. I do think that the tier 1 yard is good enough now for our purposes. Okay. Why are you doing so that? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. But I do know that Ophelia wanted to upgrade the apothecary. Well, I'm thinking that Ophelia is going to hold on to her bar. Okay, word. Because then if we if we need it later on for something important, we'll have it. And then if not, if we get more funds, she can invest it into some personal use. Word. That's fair. But, so then, um, yeah. Those would be my suggestions. Then if that's the case, we go the... If you'd like to upgrade the road, then we go tier 2 road tier one yard and a tier one trader outposts yeah, so well with the smelter in the tavern that's four right yeah with the mine that's seven total and then with a tier two road that'd be nine a tier one yard would put at ten so the last one you would want to do a a scouting tower you said or like a, a small trade outpost didn't have the start of the or, yeah. like that. 
probably trading. Yeah, I would think a trade out. I think of trading yeah. ghost, honestly. Because the reason why I'm I'm pushing a lot, and I, I swear it's not a character trait. I swear uh, it's um, we just don't have consistent funding, right? So if we start building ways of having consistent for funding on like different avenues, then it just sounds like more optimal to do it earlier than later. Yeah. We could also okay, look at using the last bar on weapon. We have mithril bars, right? We have adamantite bar, stuff like that. We Maybe do have the those equipments, right? Yeah. Um, we could. We, mm. we don't even Sorry. know what adamantite right. does. So. Hey Topaz, you want to change that road to a tier two? Uh, we don't have enough of that. We do. Yeah, oh, don't no, we? Two, yeah. four. I thought you're seven. not using yours. Yeah, we have 11 then. Yeah, you said you're going to keep yours. Yeah. Yeah, there already be 11, and that's exactly 11. So, with the tier 2 road. Tier 2 forge, smelter, locked in. Tier 2 tavern, 2,000, locked in. Tier 3 mine, 3,000, locked in. Tier 2 road? Yes. Do you have any gold with it? Ophelia doesn't have to spend her gold. She doesn't. Yeah. All right, that's 9,000 gold spent so far out of 11,000. Got 2,000 left. What are you doing that with? I believe it's the tier one trading yard and the tier one trading post. Yeah, I'm good with that. I suggested it, so I should be. I don't hear any objections. Yep. Silence is compliance. Alright, we're confirming okay. that then. And you wanted to spend a thousand on an apothecary. Yes? I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold my bar and save it in case we need it later in the future. So, one bar is not being used. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's roll that mine. Yeah. <laughs> Financial roll. mogul is kicking in. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. Mm. Tootsie mm -mm -mm. Roll. Hypnotic robotic. I don't have any friends. Can we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Watch us roll a platinum mine. <laughs> that would be wild. Like, how much do you guys think, um, like, the mithril and stuff, as we have them, cost? Shoot, dude. Couldn't like, if we were to sell them for some reason or another. I'm just curious. Can I trade yeah. one yeah. of my spiffing tours for a stone cutter's kit? Yeah, we can do that after the, the rolls. Imagine. I have two working this. Yeah, yeah. What? I want to see the, the chains. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Ooh. It's quite the spread. Very interesting spread. Give me the butter.
Oh shit, that's pretty good. Oh, did I hit the nail on the head? Is it a platinum mine? Uh, no. Something better? Well, I'm reading through it. You mine straight into the ley line itself. Son of a bitch. Congratulations. You found the nuke. Oh god. I swear, Mr. Smiling Knight, I didn't mean it. Just, you know, disprove all of the church's theories that magic isn't natural. Look, it's on the ground. That's part of the earth. <laughs> Well, that's a conspiracy they didn't want uncovered, and then we get nuked. Yeah, and it sends up another beacon. Yeah, but just like the Twisting Pines just becomes the new Grand Canyon that people visit. A new hand touches the pines. A new hand touches the beacon. I always hated that quest line at the start of it. Just opens chest, looks in, closes chest. Mm -hmm. Walks away. I had a horrible habit. I had a horrible habit of oh. take all. Yeah. And it's just a new hand. Hit myself every time. <sighs> so I learned to just like oh, look shit. through everything finally. Okay. Oh. All right. Sorry. It took me a minute. Okay. Your mine is a sulfur mm -hmm. mine. Oh. Uh, oh. Mm. Yay. So a sulfur Ooh. mine gives all sorts of access to things. Um, first and foremost, this is a hazardous material. Um, so it it is a little bit harder to, um, uh, to actually mine. It has a higher upkeep cost. But sulfur is used in all sorts of things. Most notably, it is used in alchemical ingredients. Uh, it is used in spellcasting ingredients. And it is also used in healing and medicine. Right on. Construction. Like, it, it's used in so lots of stuff. The main, the main pool, however, is its alchemical applications. Mm -hmm. I see. And now, and now we're going to roll... To see how much you get. He just rolls and then numbers just come out. Hello. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, well. Oh, I those. <laughs> those are hello. So I'm one of the people who listens to a lot of Arcadum's games. And if there's anybody out there like me, I'm going to tell you we got a 25, a 29, a 56, a 100, a 19. A 99, a 6, a 15, and a 23. Now, those numbers mean as much to me as they do to you, but I like to know them sometimes, too. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. <laughs> I really do love listening to these campaigns whenever I'm, like, mindlessly working, though. They just make my day fly. Honestly, same. So do we want to keep the items as backup? The gold or? What's that? Well, the 800 from the gems, do we want to keep that as backup and just like emergency if, fund? If, we're, if you're willing to split it, I need more darts. Yeah, we can use it to buy consumables. I'm I mean, okay with us buying consumables. Like 20 gold is like 200 darts, I think, or something. So uh, just. Order, I mean, order. each dart is time. five copper pieces, so yeah. five five gold pieces is a hundred darts. Yeah, so just order two hundred darts, and then you will have it next time when you come back. Mm -hmm. right. we'll just keep, I think just keep a stockpile of darts. That's a good money spend, I would say. Let's make three hundred, right? Why not? 
<laughs> that's just give him more you know, guards. Why don't we? Lay him on. Fifteen gold. Why not? Fifteen gold. Three hundred darts, please. I. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, now that those gold bars are out of my inventory, I could carry so many fucking darts. <laughs> yeah. That's what you find. I have a set. That's what I find. Okay, I did be fine. You find nine stocks Ooh. of sulfur, two stocks of fire salt, and ten stocks of iron. Fire salt? Do any of us know what that is? Uh, would I know what that is? Yeah, fire I salt? Fire salt, because you have people here that know what smithing is, fire ah. salt is a flux that can be thrown into the crafting process, adding fire-based properties. It is what Ooh. it is literally what makes an item fire fluxed. That's very fucking sick. Okay. So there you go. And that represents so then your uh, I have a question. So that represents your monthly gain. Oh. Yeah. So every month we can get that about that much. No no okay. no. Every month I oh. roll to see how much you get. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, cool. Hmm. So I do have a question, Arcadum. The, um, the fire flux, like, property, um, say if I put it on a shield, if the shield's AR was reduced to zero, would it still give me resistance to fire damage? Yeah. Unless it's from okay, an attack cool. that bypasses shields. Oh, okay, I see. So, so like, a, so a flaming axe... If it's heft defeats your shield, it don't give a shit about your shield. And it would ignore uh, it. Yeah. Understood. Now, the stocks of sulfur, if we gave those to Nana, do we know what she could do for us? She can make you potions. Right. But, like, like how many or what quality or stuff like um, that? Healing potions can be made. Uh, purging potions can be made. And sulfur is used in the greater alchemist fires. Alchemist fire, you say? Yeah, she can make minor can health potions. Alchemist fire to a dart, so she can apply it to um, minor health potions, minor purging potions, or the lowest forms. That is, or she can make greater alchemist fire with it. And no, you can't. Damn. You can just throw them, though. I know. I figure. Okay. Hmm. Do you guys want to give me more fire-based weaponry? Do we know? Will I never live it down? One stock, approximately. I'm glad I'm a fire Ganashi. <laughs> I'm sorry. What'd you say? Do we know the like approximate value of a stock? So. Uh, iron stocks are each worth 50 gold a piece. That's about 500 gold there. Uh, mm -hmm. Stocks of fire salt are each worth 750 gold pieces a piece. And the stocks of sulfur are each in and of themselves worth 300 gold pieces a piece. Mm. Wow. Yeah, get him. I think we're looking pretty fucking tasty, guys. How many potions can we get per stock? Is it one? Mm -mm. Uh, uh -huh. One stock of sulfur makes you uh, four base potions. Word. Wow. Okay. So, geez. What do y'all think? Do we? I kind of want to give some to Nana just for her to have. I say most of it um, goes to Nana. Yeah, we don't need a lot. I know we should probably keep some purging potions on our castery guys. Um, uh, I say like at least six stocks of sulfur to Nana, and we can decide what to do with the other three. Either sell it or what? I mean, that's twelve potions we can we can just nab, right? So well, we think six of each. Make... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I figure. I figure. But mm -hmm. no, twelve potions. So that's two potions per person. So it's really just like everybody takes your pick. 
As a fire Ganassi, don't you re-roll the damage die for fire-based stuff? Nope. That's magic fire Ganassis. No? My bad, my bad. I'm mundane. I'm immune to fire. That's right. <laughs> you just if... douse yourself in alchemist fire and tackle people? Mm -hmm. Yes, taking the fire bath. Oh, wonderful. If I'm uh, getting this right, that means that you want to assign six to... Um... No, no, Craig. At the least. At the least? Okay. Why six? Uh, because that's two thirds. Okay. And I say yeah. the majority just goes to Nana. That's fair. That's, that's my vote. That's fair. That means that the other three stocks are worth 900? Right? Yeah. Mm hmm. The, the fire salt, guys. That's a. They're 750 a piece, 1500 gold each, or like total. Yeah. I would love to put them into something and have the Fireflux property on it, but I don't know what. I think we can afford to keep the Fire Salt for now. And just have it in mind, we have two stocks of Fire Salts to yeah. use. I would love to put it on my... You got a lot more than just that. Don't forget, you guys got Mithril and Adamanti. Yeah. True. Yeah. Do we know what properties and doors we give? <laughs> no, you do not. No. <laughs> Alright, can because... I trade one of my smithing tools for a stonecutter's kit? Yes. I'm doing that now. Because what I wanted to suggest, right, was the... The last three stocks of sulfur. Mm -hmm. We could sell that plus two stocks of iron, which means we'd have another K. Which would mean, if you wanted to, we could make another tier one building. What building would you think it have, have in mind? Well, that's I'm, what I'd like to discuss. It. I just think that that would be better for us having potions. How much upkeep do we have? Yeah, we got a lot of keep in mind the upkeep of everything. Uh, well, we haven't finished rolling everything yet. I can give you the uh, okay. the ending upkeep here soon. That was okay. just the well, mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next, we have to roll the trading posts first day. Oh boy. Cool. Yeah. Again, my listening folks, he got a 42, a 26, an 85, and an 82. And then he rolled a 97 and a 51. Again, no idea what that means. In my head, it's always a good thing. Mm. But um, I do have a severe copium addiction. <laughs> severe copium addiction. Damn. Ever since great that you do, Joey. Copium trade is just it has been devastating. Listen, man, the, the economy's in shambles. All right, with this trading post, you get to decide a trade route. Who do you want to make a trade route with? Please choose the political entity carefully. To be clear, you already have a trade route with Demon's Deep, so obviously you don't need to choose that one. Please keep in mind. Please keep in mind and listen carefully. Whoever you choose to open a trade route with, that, although doesn't mean you're allied with them, that means you are not their enemy, so keep that in mind. You can select any political entity that your characters know of. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always roll a history check or just ask me if you know about them. Uh, this is the first steps normally that are required to um, to make an alliance with with such political entities. Is uh, the Razor Cliffs considered a political entity? Is what? The Razor Cliffs. The people who fight zombies. The Razor Cliffs as the region um, is not. You'd have to pick a city. Also, um, I'm going under my okay. desk because my back hurts, but I can still hear you. Alright, let's trade with the wayward. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, would would edging edging count as the church or just the city itself? It would count as the city, but understand that the city has heavy church ties, so you're kind of getting both. Yeah. So like like that trading with them would be interesting for Ophelia, but the church ties kind of complicates things. What's the thing? Could I recommend our enemy? It's just kind of like an open door. If you have yeah. a trade route with somebody, you are not their enemy. 
Yeah. That's it. All right. That's the only definition. But that does carry a lot of weight. So try to think of the political <laughs> effect that would have. Uh, can I recommend, uh, thanks to Ophelia's connections, uh, Isola? Isola? Sounds pretty good, no. honestly. It's, it's a relatively... It's relatively like neutral, so to speak, uh, town. It's a um, like there's an information network that we know of that's based from there. They have all the the sneaky the sneaky blades people that we can eventually be friends with. I'm fine with that. Which way do you want the trade out to go? Towards Haikyo or close to the Brass Baron? To Dukebot. I think Haikyo. Uh, wait. Mm. Thing is, I, I'm I'm worried that if we go through the best through through Duke Port, the Brass Baron can like will become a potential like raiding, like he, he can potentially take care of our um, trade routes or like yeah. as time goes on. And well, the Brass Baron certainly put a toll, or at least a toll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they haven't been uh, quiet about their desire to conquer this place. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I don't I would wanna... consider Haikyo the more neutral, the more neutral friendly town, oh. right? I I agree with Haikyo, yeah. Well, now I'm suspicious. Don't bring Meta into this. Well, no, because it, Haikyo is the gateway into Isola, really. Yeah. No, it isn't. And so, huh? No, it isn't. I thought not. that was the gateway to the Misted Lands. That's the gateway oh. to the Misted Lands. No. Oh. Haikyo uh, does not have any political overbearance on Isola in any way. Okay, then. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have the connections in Isola anyway, so that makes sense. If we, I also I mean, I problem going with Isola. might suggest maybe, I don't know if I could pull it, but also the region of Sephira. Because Ophelia is originally from that region. Sephira is which side of the map? South? The oh, Free yeah, Cities. Yeah. Oh, Free Cities. Uh, specifically Blackfield, but yeah. That is a long way away. Yeah, I that's think a long way is probably better. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is, I, I, I would. I don't think it's a bad destination. I actually think it's one of the the better neutral destinations, so to speak, because of free cities. Um, <clears throat> I'm just like I'm just thinking logistically, right? How is this road gonna go there? Because it's either gonna go around the mountains, like toward like from like Three Kings side, which would be a longer, you know, slightly more church oriented route, or we go. Um, like straight south from us, which goes past Lonian, Demon's Deep, uh, the Duke Ports. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the trading path is starting from us, we go to the Learning Inn, make our way down, go west to Hakio, yeah. take a boat to Isola. We can either take a boat to Duke Port or to the Mist Misty Vale. It'll be quicker to go to Duke Pod and then go south. Yeah. I think we, we we rather want a closer one than yeah. sign on someone on the other side of the continent. Literally, the other side of the continent from us. So. Yeah. Well, then let's think more towards the north. I mm. like the Razor Cliffs, but we got to pick a city in there. The Razor Cliffs is nice, but again, with church. <laughs> the church influence yeah, is involved. That's because Edgington is heavily church oriented. Since Gunnar is from the Razor Cliffs themselves, does he know the political standing of the other cities? All of them have all, all of yeah. them have practitioners, so it's gonna be the same level I of see. exposure. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. I'm assuming no one wants to do more now. Yeah, that's the problem, right? Our direct neighbors are, are in danger. <laughs> And the stocks are varied, but not looking positive. And yeah. and also, lonely, trading with the Lonely Inn was a possibility. Was. Now, not so much. 
Yeah. yeah. I think so, since we since we have the Demon's Deep trade route already, um, having one like the next with the nearest neutral city would be fair for us because we're not trying to get involved in any political wars yet that I'm aware of. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so... But, like, the yeah, next I, neutral city, isn't that Isola? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I say Isola. I think we just... Yeah, I think we just gotta call it Isola. D- but do we, we wanna go to Haikyo or Dupot? It doesn't really it matter, does, but uh, I guess... Haikyo is shorter, right? So maybe yeah, that. and I also want to stay away from the Brass Baron. Don't want him yeah. taking out stuff. Okay. I don't know enough about the Brass Baron. I think we've yeah, come to a conclusion, uh, Mr. Mr. GM. All right, what is it? Isola. 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 Okay. Oh. He's laughing. I like that. Oh, do you need me just put in a good word? I suppose I can do that. That would be nice. Yes. There's obvious, like, discomfort with her new role as middleman, I guess. She's like, fine, all right, so include something about, you know, I'm here and trade between us on fledgling city and that of a solar might be beneficial for more parties than just the merchant and political elites. Yada, yada, yada. All right, so it'll take some time for all that stuff to build up. So now we're going to talk about downtime. Oh boy. Would you like to spend downtime in the camp? Yes. All right. Yeah. What do you oh, guys want to do? I think so. First things first, repair everyone's armor. All right, that's fine. You can just do that. Simple. Okay. Um. Yeah, so... I have a question for you, Arcadum. Yeah. Um, I know that I don't have it right, but the flexing fingers trick for the sh- for the light shield. If I were to get that trick, could I throw darts with the shield in my hand? Let me go double check for you. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You guys decide what are you going to do? Sun. I'm going to go to the western real quick. Yeah. The Capri Sun sounds really good right now. No. Okay. It specifies specifically what you can use it with. Right. Just checking. Mm. Um, could I use the time to craft poisons? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I just like to craft poisons. I don't know what, like, DC my poisons would be, though. Well, I mean, all that's determined by what poison you're making. Okay, word. And the kind of poison that you're making is dependent on the ingredients you have, such as venom from creatures. Um... I do have a vial of spider venom. There you go. That means you have a vial of spider venom, but generally speaking, in order to make venom you would need the glands from the creature which means you need to hunt or buy them okay mm. so then could i spend the time trying to procure um like like poisonous plants or would i have to hunt poison like venomous creatures you would you would have to spend the time to hunt those creatures and take their parts okay i was just wondering like if i could also forage for you know, poisonous plants and use those to make poisons that if I stab somebody with them, they would still hurt. I 
Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, ask again, because I don't think I, would, I understand what your question really is. Right, so you said that I would need the the ingredients to make the poisons. Yes. Like venomous glands. Yes. On the flip side of that, if I were to use plants and I pick like, you know, fucking poisonous ass mushrooms, could I use those to make poisons as well? Of course you can. You, you have to have the ingredients is what I'm getting at. Right. Then my question was like, could I spend the downtime to forage and then yeah, make those? Yeah, if you have the skills that support that. Uh, I don't have survival if that's what you're going to ask. Then looks like you need to find somebody who has survival. Or, or herbalism. So he's not here? So he's not here, so I don't want to bogart his character. Who? But Brainor has survival. I'm sure he'd help you. Yeah, he's a fucking homie. Yeah, he's just working out and... I guess he can run on his hands or something. No, well, that is true. <laughs> if we're all going to share the same downtime... Um... Yeah, I don't want to take. I'm pretty sure he'd be. I'm pretty sure he'd be interested in some of these unique feats that are offered. Yeah, Ooh. probably. Um. Hey, Nob, what is Gunnar's downtime going to look like? Uh, depends on how much we're going to. Yeah, let's talk about that first. How long are you guys waiting here? A day or two. How long does it? Take to translate the spell. Uh, oh god! The, first, it takes you to be a wizard. Are you a wizard? No, but Fabio has the uh, Arcana. That. Focus. Focus. Oh, he oh he has the other way. Okay. Oh, he has the other yeah. way. The, then it takes. The other way is a day per spell level. Okay. A day per spell level. Okay. Mm -hmm. Preferably Ooh. at least three days then. I think. Four days optimal. If Fabio wants mm -hmm. to help, of course. I mean, I'll mm. week if you ask nicely. Yeah. Do you just want to round it up to a week and then call it that? Because <laughs> we'll do that way. You can do that and then. If by any chance you want to do something else, you can, because I'm planning on wanting to do something else as well, just to get an idea of concept of time. Um, I, so is that what you two are doing? Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. If if we stay a week, then I can help you for three days to do this, and then I'll go and see what else I can do. Okay. Yeah, that's fine if, with me. Uh, if, if Ophelia needs any help, uh, Joey's uh, expertise in alchemist and poisoner's kits. I need someone who can look at exposure. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I will not I turn down your is. offer of aid. I have a free time if, after the spells. Yeah, yeah after the spells. spells I'll yeah. wait for Nob, for, for Gunnar, not, not, not who's Nob, I don't know, Nob. I will wait for Gunnar to finish his uh, spell translation and then beseech his aid as well as yours, Joey. I don't know if I, I even need to be in the Um. I want to experiment with something, yes. You put me on edge every time you say something. <laughs> I'll stop being so on edge. I'm going to the forge. I... Why, why do I make <laughs> you so on edge? It's just like, I just feel like the next thing that's going to come out of your mouth is like a affront to humanity or a war crime or... It's like, What's it a like war... the next thing you're going to say is just going to make me what? make my What's a, war... What's a war crime? You know, like shooting a medic in the face. She raises an eyebrow. That's the best way to whittle down an army, is it not? Or combat? You take out so those who can point. heal their friends. Yeah, you should keep making my point for me. I... Anyway. Yeah, so... okay. 
Anyway. Geneva convention? More like Geneva suggestion. Shit <laughs> into a checklist. But yeah, so first few, first three days, not going to be translating spells. All right, first day. Away from thing, guys. All right, first day, <clears throat> lock in your actions. Yep, I'm going to experiment with a glaive. I'm going to try to make it lighter by at least one half. Oh, okay. Why don't you talk to the Dwarven Smith about the stuff like we have Mithril and Adamanti stocks. Maybe he knows what they do. Yeah, and if possible, I would like to take that Dwarven book to the Dwarven blacksmith this year. That's perfectly fine. Right. Dwarven black blacksmith will look at the book, will kind of nod and then start to explain some stuff, and then answers your question. If you want to make your glaive lighter, make it out of Mithril. And um, if if I don't have proficiency in survival, should I could I even attempt to hunt those venomous creatures? If you have nothing in survival, then no. I do have. You're breaking up. Is he breaking up for anyone else, or is it? Yeah, me? he's breaking up. He's breaking up for me too. You're breaking up. No. Do I need to be with Fabio oh. when translating, mm -hmm. or can I do yes. it on my phone? Okay, yeah. You're booking up very badly. Get, get, let him cook. <laughs> you give him a minute. <laughs> Might not be able to hear us. So let me type it out to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh. Oh, you might have noticed. Welcome back. You are muted. Yeah. Let me know whenever you guys can hear me again. We can hear you. Yes. Can hear you. Sweet. All I was saying was that I only have a plus one to survival. No proficiency. Yeah, you need to have yep. proficiency to do it. Yep. Okay. Um... So you're doing that. Could I just buy the ingredients from Nana and make them Yeah, you myself? can buy ingredients, yeah. Okay. Although she has only all basic... All trade is a ruby ring. She'll... All she has is basic poisons for sale. Or poison ingredients. Which is lots and lots of wasp venom. Wasp. Do, do I know what wasp venom looks like? An unnecessary like? large yeah. amount of wasp venom. Mechanically. What do you say? Do I know what wasp venom does mechanically? 2d6 poison. DC 13 con. Hmm. Okay. And if I give her like six stocks of sulfur, she'd be willing to part with those? Okay, stay again to what you're actually trading. This will make sure I got it all. We had the six stocks of silver from the mine. We just said we were just going to give that to her. I know, but now I'm trying to swindle and haggle. I am giving it to her, but I am also trying to get poison. Uh, I think that we're, we're missing a crucial part of this conversation is that part of the reason why we're giving it to her was to make potions. <laughs> Oh, that's what the other three that we were keeping were for. No, I was going to work some magic on those three. This uh, is for potions. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're trying to sell the three. Yeah, that was, that was what we are talking about. So you all just flat out give her all of them and then tell her to use three of them for us. No, I think I think there's a misunderstanding here. Uh, the... From the nine, we were going to take six stocks, and from those six stocks, or use all of them for potions. Right? The three that were left out, we could sell if we wanted to make another building or another improvement. That's why we're at this point, right? Okay. So then why wouldn't we just give it all to her if we're not going to try and make more improvements? 
Yeah, that's why we were asking to see what the upkeep was to see if it's worth making an improvement. Uh, oh, current, I don't think we ever got the upkeep. The current cost. upkeep is 350 gold pieces a month. Okay. For the mine and the trading post? That's for the everything. entire base. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, dang. It's a one stock, basically, for a month. In upkeep. Well, keep in mind that's the upkeep you have to provide. Much of that is, much of the rest of the upkeep is provided by your patron. I see. So that's the amount of money you need to make to help him. Which I think and with the... Is the mine's money. profit included in what we make? Yeah. Okay, so then we could take some of the, some of the resources from the mine and pay it at 350 Yep. That's why I suggested we could sell the three and like two stocks of iron to make a thousand gold and buy a tier one building. Like, I don't know, like a barracks or a, just, just something. Hmm. Which, to be fair, a barracks, um, just to help, you know, in case of any, like, Orcs in fighting inside or, or orcs or stuff like that, right? It was just, it just wouldn't be a bad suggestion, I think. I don't think it's a bad idea at all. Um, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm down for it. The uh, three stocks of sulfur and then two stocks of the iron, and I would just build a barracks a, uh, tier one barracks arcade. What about tier one barracks? If we sold the three stocks of sulfur and two stocks from the iron that we just mined. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Is everybody good to lock that in? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I like it. Okay, then we're locking in a tier one barracks with the rest of the sulfur. And two stocks of iron. And then with the six sulfur that's left, we we can cut that in half, three, three, and use three for purging potions, three for healing potions. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good with me. So, that's all the sulfur we have. I imagine she can make those potions within the week that we're staying, right? Yeah. So, okay. what kind of potions so then, do you guys want? Uh, healing, three, purging, purging three healing. Each half of it is healing, half is purging, I believe. Oh, half and half? Alright, you get 15 healing potions and 15 purging potions. <laughs> I oh. forgot that there was fucking four potions per stock. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. It's, it's 12 and 12. Sorry. 12 and 12. Oh. That, that's still, still a lot. Yeah, it's, two, it's two of each for each. <laughs> okay. I don't need any. Cool. I mean, it'd be good for us to have in case somebody goes down and we need to force feed them. There we go. Two of oh, yeah. each it is. So. Two, two basic healing potions. All right. And two purging potions. Okay, that sounds like why spending. Um... Are you done with your um, forge adventures for the day? Uh, if I couldn't find a way to make it lighter by one, then I'm just gonna run a blade experiment with a glaive. Well, he told you how to make it lighter. Use mithril. You guys fine with me using one of the mithrils? I mean, why do you need to make it lighter? So I can one hand it. Then do it. Fuck yeah. That sounds bad. Well, you would need two of them lighter, so you would need two mithril to do that. Yeah, that's if I wanted what? to do wood. Okay. Oh, you I would love to, but I wouldn't. I don't exactly want to spend two mithril on that. Yeah. So you want to shield? Is that it? Yeah. No, I want two weapons. Ah, oh, you want another weapon? I okay, got it. Yeah, I was gonna use a war pick and a glaive. All right. 
All right. Arrow, I'm you. gonna spend the time to make a mithril glaive. Mithril glaive, got it. And you're making it, not the smith. Uh, well, I don't know how I compare to the. He's smith. better than you. <laughs> right, I'll, let, I'll let him do it then. And I'll just randomly experiment. Doesn't randomly experimenting still use stocks? Yes, I'm going to be using some of my some of the iron. All right, cool. What you want me to experiment with the mithril? No, 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 no. If you want to use it, you only have the one. <laughs> no, I'm using iron. There you go. All right. So, you're crafting a mithril spear. Uh, what well, the dwarf is, I'm just one of the. Yeah, experiment. you're you're just. Yeah, I got it. Okay. No, no, you could help him instead. Can I? Yeah. All right, I'm doing that. But you know, dwarf time. Let's go. Yep, and if it's relevant, I have the trick in sniffing to us. All right, let's do this. Next person's day. Um, well, with the, uh, Gunnar and I would just be doing translations. So first two days, we'd just be doing Shadowblade translations. Mm -hmm. um, would you split the money from the gym bag, or are you just going to keep it? I would split it if we would need consumables, which I think you do because of poison. darts. Oh, that's fair. Um... I'll give you half of it. Half, dude. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much poisons are, bro. Yeah, so I'll give you half, and I want to give you whatever. Just left. bring that. Just yeah, dude. That that works even better. Easy. Awesome. Okay, I kid him. All right. We so good? I now have, I now I now have four hundred gold pieces. How much is wasp poison venom? Wasp venom's fifty gold. Fifty gold. Okay. Yeah. And okay then. Can I just get like three vials? Yep, that's fine. Okay. I'll fork over that one fitty. Okay. And then, could I also get more darts from Hobbs or Han? Gob Han. More what? More darts. Oh, yeah, that's I fine. Only, yeah, that's fine. I only have 45. Oh, oh, only 45. More darts! <laughs> Look, guys, if I run out, it's going to be real sad. Yeah. Because <laughs> then I go from all that damage to swinging a flail. Excellent. Flailing. <laughs> How many can I get, boss man? Of darts? My ideal is 100. Oh, he doesn't have that many. He has 25, though. Okay, I will take all of those 25 from him. Okay. And that'll put me at a total of 70. Okay, cool. And then I will give uh, you back the 250. Boom, 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 bam. Back in my pocket. You know, I can't... I can only trade the Topaz and Gunnar. Weird. <laughs> but it, it's fine. I'll just keep it in mind. I've um, got that much. So. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> well, I'm waiting for Gunnar and Fabio to do their spell translation. I would like to spend this, Ophelia would like to spend this time taking those two spell tomes we found and opening them, seeing, seeing if I can open them up to look inside. Of course, this will be privacy of our, like, bedchamber. 
or, st or where we're uh, sleeping. Uh, our bedroom. Oh my. Yeah. Well, our, it's a group's bedroom, right? <laughs> Ours. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. He said it, look, not me. Look, I'm, not, I'm not sleeping with Fabio yet. <gasps> Wait, what? Slash what gasp, <laughs> my <laughs> African king. Oh my god. <laughs> um. But yeah, she, she will open those up and uh, at least attempt to open them and look inside. Uh, open what? The two, one, at least one of the two spell tomes uh, that we found um, in our adventures. The one that we found when we discovered uh, Tolenbron Shadows Camp and the other one that we found in the Scribes. Oh yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. If only you could read it. Is it in Dwarvish? Of course it's in Dwarvish. <laughs> Tragic. Um, I have an idea. No one's around? First week. Is no one's around? Is that no one's around? around? Uh, Ophelia throws the book at the wall. Okay. In, in frustration. Okay. And... <sighs> Puts the mask on, picks up the book, and will just simply set up uh, her alchemical set and wait for the two people that will be helping her in her experiment. Um, and when that comes, uh, what she wants to do is, well, I can wait for them to come up here and we can role play it um i mean i've done my day yeah we're just waiting on the guys to get their spells out yeah okay so you ready for me to move time forward a couple days yeah at least because i'm because affiliate wants to with the assistance of our of our week of downtime uh whenever uh, Gunnar is freed up. Uh, she would like to experiment with the vial of blood that she collected from Topaz. Okay, sounds good. First day passes. Second day passes. Gunnar, would you like to visit the creepy lady? <laughs> I'm, not, mm. I'm not creepy. You are certainly creepy. Yeah, you're pretty creepy. That's what he was getting <sighs> at. That's what Joey was getting at earlier. Probably do we, do we have to roll anything? First. Oh no. Say again, Gunner? Uh, I'm asking Fabio if we if we should do shield first, uh, or if I should go to Ophelia now. Uh mm, I mean look we can. It's a level to one day spell, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we can. Um training yard. Three days. I'm sorry, what, Avery? While they're working on doing shield, can I spend the day at the training yard and see what they got going on? Sure. Oh, yeah, well, I'm okay with us shielding for one more day. Okay. Sounds like people are locking their stuff in. So at the training yard, they are essentially all the martial characters involved are training and rehashing and basically just sculpting their skills. There are a couple of unique feats that are available to the training yard. Mm -hmm. the, first, uh, the first is called... All right, first one is Indomitable Warrior. It grants your Way of the Warrior bonus to saving throws. Oh. Mm. And this also gives a plus one to a ability score, uh, a mental ability score. I see. And the second one is...
Let's see, the other one is a mundane feat, which is... Oh, shit. I forgot how cool this is. Uh, combat Engineer. This allows kits that would not normally be able to be used in combat to be used in combat by reducing their use time to one action. Different kits are given different special abilities based off the kit chosen. And there's a list of them here. Uh -huh. uh, an example would be um, the Scribe Kit has the ability to copy a spell as it is being cast. And once it's copied, you have advantage on saving throws versus that spell. Very that cool. sounds pretty cool. So wow. since since I have expertise in Poisoner and Alchemist kit, um, are there ones for those two? Yeah. Do they give any other benefits uh, aside from that? Like I know the other one gave a mental ability score increase. Well, yeah. The um, okay. the poisoner one. Oh, excuse me, poisoner one allows you to do a poison spray on a crit with a melee weapon. Hmm. And I believe the alchemist one is. Oh shit! Fuck! I forgot about this. Uh, yeah, the alchemy one is mutagens. Okay. Witcher, like from the Witcher. Yeah. Okay, I never played the Witcher. The use so of permanent not... uh, alchemical uh, changes to the body. Oh. That's what it really yeah. is. Wow. I see. The mutagens have been around since before the Witcher was made, I can tell you that much. Okay. Well, that sounds badass. Um, so that's... Is that like a... To be clear, that is only action. available because the church is available. Once the church leaves, that effect leaves as well. I see. Mm. Okay. Good to know. I, as intrigued as I am, and as I'm sure Stream would love to unlock those things, I'm afraid I'm going to have to just keep with what I got for now. Coward! May I, know what the, may I know what you can do with the smithing kit? Uh, smithing kit trick for that feat uh, allows you to deal more armor damage when you deal damage to armor and shields. So more AR damage. All right. No um, thanks. Do what? What did they replace those feats? Or is it just a feat you learn? Uh, those feats replace general feats. Oh well, not okay. okay no, no, I missed both. Last feats. The first okay. one replaces the general feats. The first one I spoke of. The second one uh, is a mundane feat. Oh, okay. Oh no, thanks, Dan. Yeah. And just to just to confirm, because it was you did mention martial characters. Uh, are there anything that would be applicable to rangers? Rangers are martial. So yeah. yeah. The reason I'm asking is because Way of the Warrior is a fighter thing. So no, it's not. It's a martial thing. It's just that Way of the Warrior um, is increased for fighters. Oh, I see. Yeah. My bad. I misunderstood that. So instead okay. of getting half your proficiency, you get a full one if you're a fighter. Uh, so then if I okay. were already proficient in strength saving throws, then I would get essentially expertise in strength saves. Essentially, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, the same. Applies, it'd be the same. So then it applies to all saving throws? To all saving throws, yeah. Damn, dude. It's a very good feat. That's incredible. And it gives a mental ability score increase? One mental ability score increased by one. Okay. That's a really good thing. I'll just keep in my back pocket. Does that one go away whenever the church leaves? No. Okay. Just the uh, mutagens? No, the entire out. So the kit, the um, combat engineer feat is a church feat. Okay, okay. Now, the combat engineer feat handles all of the kit specializations in combat. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'm very glad I came to learn that. Yeah. 
How's your glaive coming along, bud? Still working. I think this day is accomplished. All right, next day. Yeah. Bam. What are we doing? Same thing? Hmm. Mm. So we've we've learned Shadow Blade and Shield, right? Because this is day... This is day four. Three days have passed. Yeah. Yeah. It's day four. Is there another spell y'all want to learn? I think that's good for now. Yeah, for good for now, so... Okay. I would then go uh, and help Ophelia. Yeah, head up to the creepy lady. Okay, then... Before... You guys do that and commit to that, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Um... I would like to just lay out what I would like to do for the rest of the, the week. Yeah, what you do, bro. Yeah. Uh, first thing would be just to, after Joseph's comment last time, uh, Fabio will, will actually send a letter because he realized you can't send letters. Okay. Oh. You're right. Um, I'll let you know who I send that to whatever this time. And um, I would like to just use the rest of the week to see what I would need to develop upon a the shifting ice the advanced style. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Anything else you guys doing? Yeah. Up here. You're going to go do experimentation stuff? Yes, the creepy lady is going to do the experimentation oh, okay. stuff. What you doing? Uh, as you guys enter, you would see Ophelia has the mask on and is currently over her small, humble little alchemist set. Ah, come in. You see, that's what I'm talking about. So, what do you want? Well, I want to see how... Uh, one, I hold up the vial of Topaz's blood. Does mm. this still radiate exposure? Set it down. <clears throat> Joey shrugs. Does it? I think the stream is frozen. Very, very little. Oh. What, do you mean very the stream? what do you mean the stream's frozen? Uh, I covered this move, yet they... Oh, there it goes. It, it seems to have been resolved. Right. Very little. Mm, perhaps its potency does wane at the time after it's removed from the body. Very well. Um, I wish to see what happens to it when I introduce my blood to it. Uh huh. I don't want to, to make a baby with him. <sighs> wow. <laughs> look at the book. I look at it. I looked. I look. I looked back at. Turned the I looked back at Good night. Well, anyway, that's, that's, what, that's what mixing blood is. I do you even know how reproduction works. Time for Joseph to die. I'm older. I can't learn it till I'm older. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Well, well, in either case, um, I'm going to take out the vial and, and place the sample onto a dish, and then I will take my dagger and will um, prick my finger and would like to um, allow a few droplets of my own blood to fall onto um, topazes. And I want to observe if there's any sort of arcane reaction. And with Gunnar there to observe if there's anything that happens. To the so exposure. you put your blood in the vial containing topazes' blood. Yes. It's not magical anymore. That's it. Hmm. Hmm. 
You have Arcana trained? I do. Roll it. I'm helping, right? Yes. Yeah. Eating? yeah. Unfortunate. Your body is toxic to magic. That much is obvious. What that means, yeah. who can say? Hmm. I do got a question. Whenever we were fighting them dwarves, you seemed a little uh, perplexed as to where to put all that magic you're juicing up. What happens if you just toss it on her? No one knows. It's uh, no. very dangerous, I, I believe. Last time I tried, uh, someone got a demon hand. Not a big deal. Well, no, no. Last time you you caused Spraynor to bleed from every orifice on his body, including his own skin, and that summoned a demon. Uh, your, your channeling caused me to reach my my limit back at the. Ah, yes, that's fair. Looks at at Tommy, uh, at Joey, not Tommy. Like, look, all I know is the things y'all are saying are bad things, right? But if her body don't like magic, then it seems like there's magic you don't want. I wonder what would, I wonder what would happen if I were to introduce my blood into the bodily fluids of an entity who exists off of pure magic. See, that sounds like making a baby. I'm not crazy. No, that sounds like me coating an arrow in my own blood and using it to pierce into another creature's body to then cause them to have a possibly quite possibly extreme negative reaction to it okay now i think i know where you're coming from okay yeah okay so one of these days i'll have to go over the, the tome on how reproduction works whenever i'm older <laughs> whenever i'm Don't older you you've killed things you you have drawn blood how are you not old enough to understand how, you, you know i'm not even going to ask anyway thank you for taking the time to do this experiment with me um i did absolutely nothing arcanum can i use the alchemy kit to try and produce like a vial of my of like a diluted version of my own blood to make as a toxin you can certainly try sweet can i use my alchemist expertise and do it I just think that I'd have an easier time since I you know sure I will assist you very cool go on ahead d20 plus level plus double proficiencies that's plus 8 add advantage 18 Nothing happens. All right, you got watery blood. Also, you're rolling as Robert below. Oh. <laughs> What's the default? That's the, that's the one that, that Foundry gives me as default. We'll have to change that up. Every time I log on, it pulls up him, and I'm like, that's sad. <laughs> it's literally it taunting that. you. <laughs> Foundry's actually taunting you. I don't know. I like the pain. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we just a little bit of masochism. Get the day started. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. I'm going to take the time to rest now. Okay. And... As the party yes. rests, unless you had more. Did you have more? Nope. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to cut you off. Then. All right. As the party sets up the rest of this day. There is a cacophony in the camp as several messengers arrive. Messengers that arrive and inform the church of a precarious situation. <clears throat> Deputy Thane Soro Shadestone calls the party to join the meeting, believing it will be pertinent to their further travels into the, for into the for forgotten city. We definitely do be forgetting that. Alrighty. Do I learn the name of our dwarf infant? Of the smith? Uh, I believe his name is... 
Clan Wide Shoe. Clan Wide Shoe. Oh, right. Clan. C L E N. Wide of the feet. Got it. Damn. That is all. What seems to be the issue? Uh, like, oh, well, like, like I said, I don't want to do any heavy roleplay without Inano here. Ah. And this is the day they would arrive, so. Uh, do I know how long it's gonna take for the Metro Glaive? Um. Well, we're gonna have to make rolls, but it's it's not gonna be done. The it's not gonna be done yet, no matter what rolls you make right now. To make right. a Mithril Glaive takes a while. You're gonna be here. Are they running within the week or not? Oh, definitely not. No. All right, got it. Absolutely not. But go ahead and roll. Let's see how long it takes you. D twenty plus uh, smithing tools. I can give you an idea. So while he does that, how long does it take to learn a language? Twenty days, without a teacher. Ten days with one. Does Fabio count? <laughs> does Fabio speak Dwarvish? Yeah. Then yeah. he can teach you Dwarvish. Yeah. Oh, so we could do that the whole okay. party as well, right? Hello. I feel like the service in the force. Howdy. <laughs> That's a twenty. Don't you teach me. Or do I work for a day? Yeah, no, yeah, you're gonna roll each day, but that's one success, but it takes a 24 success. So that one fails. That one succeeds. That one fails. It takes you I see. Uh, it takes you 18 successes to successfully create a mithril glaive. Damn. Isn't the uh, isn't white shoe better than he is? Yes. I'm eating him. Oh, oh yeah. Word. Oh that's that's totally my fault. I kept thinking you were making it. If he's making it. Uh, his higher skill level will get it done by the week, so don't worry about it. Ah, good to sorry. know. Sorry. Can multiple people learn the language from the same person in the same amount of time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, then shouldn't. <laughs> we need, we need, we need art of teacher Fabio leading class of. <laughs> well, and this well, word like... means skill. Yeah, I was making a joke about you know how I feel old in this group, and now I feel like that's being used in a literal sense. <laughs> Bruh. What about that, kids? What do you want? Alrighty, but we're called up there, though, so that Tenado yeah, doesn't totally. miss out. Any yes, sir. Oh, good. All right. We got a meaty session anyway. We got a bunch of shit done. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think he's going to enjoy coming back and seeing his new gym. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, whenever you get in, uh, there's just a corner of just a bunch of ripped dudes flexing at each other. Hey, 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 yo, what he's up? He's never going to go back into the city. He's got all he needs. Well, it's straight cut, bro. Hey, yo, brother. It's they shoot, bro. Those. <laughs> they call those yo. the pillar men. This was just the <laughs> 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 All right, let's see. We got some fan art, I think. Uh, this is Joey throwing his darts. <laughs> Topaz in combat. Hey. Oh, yeah. You guys didn't ask why he was on fire. Eh. I didn't notice. We've seen, it. We've seen a lot. We've seen a lot. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We've seen a lot. I can set you on fire if you'd like. <laughs> I'll set myself on fire. <laughs> oh, shit. And... and I'm immune to your fire shenanigans. Unless it's ghost fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. Femme fatale. <laughs> all right. Look at all that. Yeah. Masochine's just Mazikin... pouting, dude. Very Mazikin, Why am I zoomed Dale. in? Hold on, I'm super zoomed in. Let me fix this. There. Just, there we go. That's better. Very yeah. cool. I love Ophelia okay, there. Nice. Starlight and all that. Oh, mega oh, good. <laughs> Feet reveal at 777 subs? No. But I am at 520 subs, so... Big thanks Ooh. to all the people that have been resubbing and have been supporting the stream uh, lately. That really means a lot. 
Uh, I don't know what yeah. we're going to do, but I have something planned at 1,000 subs. I don't know what it's going to be, but if we get back up there again, I'll do something. I'll fucking tap dance. I don't know. But reveal. <laughs> okay. Hot tub stream. Yeah. Hot tub. Yeah. Let's what? do a hot tub stream. That's what everybody yes. wants to see. Yeah. No, yes. uh, no, you're not going to see. No, no. Just, yeah. Build a chair in the hot tub. <laughs> Am I even allowed to do that on Twitch anymore? Like, I, yeah. don't, I don't even fucking know. I'm dude. pretty sure you still can. I don't know. Well, I mean, as long as you're not, like, naked. Yeah. Okay. Right? I don't know. Just like a really weird. tight Hawaiian shirt that's wet. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do a, um, I'll just do a, a, I'll just do an AMA in a hot tub. Yes! And, yeah. just, <laughs> and just talk D&D at the, um, in a hot tub stream. And we'll do it in the middle oh, of. No, I'm going to exclusively be asking about the hot tub. Okay, yeah, and yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it there? when it's like winter time or late fall, so it's like cold <laughs> outside. I just be like, "Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, hey, welcome to my, <laughs> welcome to my Bugatti <laughs> hot tub." Like, uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, you know, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, if we get to, uh, oh, actually, here's something I can do. Um. I could do like a Halloween event. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that anyway because because I don't I want to do that even if we don't have any sub. Yeah, you know what? Fine, I'll get a thousand subs. Hot tub AMA stream. There it is. There you go. There it is, listeners. There's the mission. There you You know what to do. You got you got until the end of October, you savages. (laughs) Really? Yeah. End of October. Yeah, end time of to, October. It's yeah. time to flood everyone I know. 20, DMs 23 days. You got 23 days to get me from 520 subs to 1,000 subs. It'll take us 10. <laughs> I have no idea whose hot tub it's going to be. I'll I'll sneak onto somebody's freaking property. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just go, no, just go to like, go to, go to like the freaking, um, yeah, just, I don't know. Sneak, sneak, no, su- super helpful, Sonny. Thanks. Uh, yeah, just, yep. just, just do You're the, just, I, I, go, I just, do I the thing to help. Just get do like the thing. Pool. I mean, get like a kiddie pool, right? And I'll bring put a tarp down beneath it, fill it up with like hot water, and then every twenty minutes you got to go and get a bucket of hot water and dump it. Listen, yeah, that I, won't be I, annoying. <laughs> I have the bolt. I got the bolt cutters if we need them. I'm sure I can like. Oh my god! You know, if I if if we actually get to a thousand subs, I'll just like rent an Airbnb or something. I'll just sit in their hot tub for like, yeah, a, yeah. For, like for like a night and just be like, "Hey, what's up? Hey, hey what's going on?" <laughs> or I don't know. Well, what now I'm getting excited. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I think. go away, savages. That's all you get. I'm gonna go take my hour break and then uh, we'll be back for more s- s- sins of the father. Into the Father, let's go. See you guys in a bit, everyone. Bye, love everyone.